There's been a real big push for angle of attack indicators in all planes, all general aviation airplanes recently. And I don't know, that may be a great idea. It may really increase safety. But when we're working with a plane like this, we do have an indicator of angle of attack. And it's actually the extension of the yoke. This corresponds to angle of attack. When it reaches this full back pressure, that will be a stall. And it can occur at an infinite number of airspeeds starting at 1G as indicated here, 35 knots dirty, 40 clean. So the recovery procedure is just reducing the angle of attack. And we make this far too complicated in a lot of training. So let's start with the very basics. Angle of attacks increasing as angle of attack increasing and the nose goes up. We need more and more right rudder to correct for those left turning tendencies. As it gets to the full stall position, and we're gonna get a couple of other indicators, perhaps, of a stall, but that's one of them. VSI's two of them. Uncommanded response is three when the nose drops. Recover with a uh, forward motion of the yoke, a reduction of the angle of attack. The key things here to understand is the plane is nose heavy. It's going to recover. Planes don't stall, pilots stall planes when they get you know, nervous and they see the ground and they pull back and they keep holding it. That is what leads to stalls and loss of control.